Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to list the 10 best foods for boosting uh, penis blood flow and helping fix erectile dysfunction. I'll list the top 10 foods, including the, the, my, my favorite one. I will also give you a, a cool meal plan that I've been eating you know, three, four times a week to help with all this. And I'll give you even different supplements and vitamins, minerals you can take to help expedite this uh, boosting of blood flow to the penis and improving your erectile dysfunction. So let's get started with today's subscriber question. And it's, um, Basically, it starts as, um, as I've gotten older, I notice my erections aren't as good and only seem to be getting worse. As I've gotten older, um, I also have read how poor erections can be an indicator of potential heart problems due to poor blood flow and circulation. Um, are there any foods that will help improve circulation, hopefully improve blood flow to my penis? Um, are there foods that can actually fix and reverse erectile dysfunction? I always appreciate your honesty. Please help me and thank you. Yeah, this is a really important question because you're right. Having erectile problems is actually a potential pre-warning sign that you have or could be having potential heart problems, again, due to poor circulation. And obviously, this can also negatively affect your brain. Thus, having erectile problems might be a warning sign of a potential heart attack or stroke in the future. Now, even though all of you guys might care right now about just your ability to get an erection and, and you know have sex, and may, maybe you're not feeling young anymore, maybe you're not feeling man enough, but remember the bigger problem is helping to avoid a heart attack or stroke in the future. And yes, there are foods that will help uh, improve circulation throughout the body and thus improve blood flow to the heart, to the brain, and yes, your penis. And before I list the 10 best foods, please know that hormones always play an important role in all of this, okay? Better hormonal balance, such as higher testosterone levels within that healthy range, will help with the erections and strengthening of your heart and other muscles, including your penis. And don't forget about exercise, all right? Lifting weights, you know, three to five times a week will improve blood flow, and walking daily for at least 20 or 30 minutes will all help or are very important. However, let's get started with the 10 best blood flow improving foods my favorite one is number 10, and I'll also give you a sample meal at the end, which is what I use uh, three or four times a week. Okay, so let's talk about nitrates. There are certain foods that are rich in nitrates, which are known to improve blood flow by dilating, basically opening up blood vessels, so better blood flow. Leafy green vegetables are really good. Vegetables such as spinach and Swiss chard are rich in nitrates. Also beets, um, beets and beetroot juice also contain high levels of nitrates. Now, if you're gonna have beets, I would rather you ate the actual beet rather than the beet juice, which is, you know, as you know, juice has a lot more sugars in it, which I rather you had the actual vegetable fruit. Now, the other one thing you wanna do is in inflammation, right? Next thing you wanna do is reduce the inflammation in your body. Unfortunately, as we age, inflammation goes higher. In fact, it's called inflammaging, all right? Now, a part of the reason for inflammation is poor hormonal balance, as I described earlier, all right? For example, as we get older, testosterone levels go down, and then stress hormones such as cortisol go up, and thus you have more inflammation, in addition to a bunch of other health problems, such as higher blood sugar levels, and higher blood pressure, and higher cholesterol, and yes, poor blood flow. So chronic inflammation is bad, and one reason is that, again, it can restrict blood flow. So let's, let's eat foods that reduce inflammation. Now, eating fatty fish is great. Eating fish that are basically high in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon, mackerel, and trout can help improve cardiovascular health and blood flow to the penis due to their anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, berries are great. Blueberries are fantastic. Strawberries and raspberries are also packed with antioxidants that can help improve blood flow by reducing inflammation and supporting blood vessel health. And also garlic. Garlic has compounds that can help improve blood flow by relaxing blood vessels and reducing inflammation. Now, I'm not that big of a fan of garlic because it's gonna give me bad breath, but otherwise, I love how it tastes. Um, next, let's go to nitric oxide. Another component of better blood flow is a gas called nitric oxide, which helps vasodilate your blood vessels and thus increase circulation with more blood. In fact, this is one of the ways PDE5 inhibitors such as Viagra and Cialis work. They increase nitric oxide. Uh, foods that can help are nuts and seeds. Um, almonds, walnuts, and flax seeds are rich in nutrients such as Arginine, um, which is an amino acid that helps promote nitric oxide levels in the body, aiding in blood vessel relaxation and improved circulation. Um, a fruit, watermelon, is great because it contains L-citrulline, an amino acid, uh, which again gets converted to arginine, the other amino acid in the body, which helps production of nitric oxide and improve blood flow. 
Also dark chocolate. Dark chocolate with high cacao content contains flavonoids that can help improve blood circulation by enhancing nitric oxide levels. If you're gonna do dark chocolate, pick at least like a 72% level of dark chocolate. And finally, there are specific antioxidants that can help strengthen the blood vessels and thus allow better blood flow. Citrus fruits, um, oranges and grapefruits and lemons contain vitamin C and other antioxidants that help support blood vessel health and reduce the risk of vascular problems. Um, my suggestion is eat the actual fruit and not the fruit juice. Thus, have an orange rather than orange juice. Um, and finally, my favorite food of all is olive oil. Olive oil is rich in healthy fats and antioxidants, um, and obviously it's gonna help promote better blood flow. But you know, there's a lot of additional benefits to extra virgin cold press olive oil because, for example, one of them is because it's composed primarily of monounsaturated fats, especially the oleic acid. It helps improve healthy cholesterol levels by preventing the buildup of plaque in the arteries. So that's good for better blood flow. Um, extra virgin olive oil also contains polyphenols, um, which are powerful anti-inflammatories. Um, also, it contains, uh, it can help increase nitric oxide levels, olive oil can. And lastly, olive oil can help improve endothelial function and thus make your blood vessels stronger and more pliable and flexible like when we were younger. Now. I personally eat about half of these foods on a regular basis. As I mentioned earlier, a sample meal um, for you or one that I eat at least three or four times a week combining some of these foods is I basically make a salad. It's a big bowl. It contains spinach and some baby greens. I put salmon in it for my protein. I also add in some beets, uh, small amounts of walnuts. I don't add too many walnuts because they're high in fat. And I add in some blueberries. And for the dressing, I again use the extra virgin olive oil and I mix in a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And I season it with salt and pepper. It's super simple and easy. And if you wanna add in some extra carbs, which I do, I throw in um, quinoa into the salad, which by the way, quinoa, also has blood flow improving properties because it can help increase nitric oxide levels. Not by much, but hey, it's a great source of a carbohydrate. It's low in blood sugar, you know, increasing uh, levels. And it's also complete vegetarian protein. So why not? Okay, I love uh, quinoa. So this meal is great for your health, for your fitness, for your longevity, and yes, blood flow and better erections. Um, so I do this at least three, four times a week. I also take additional supplements to help with all this. I take a product called Alpha Viral, which helps uh, support better testosterone levels and hormonal balance. I take a product called Blood Flow Optimizer specifically for this because it helps uh, healthy blood flow and stronger blood vessels. I take Inflame and Pain Relief, which helps support healthy inflammation. I also take Vitamin C, three grams daily. Basically, I take a thousand milligrams with food three times daily. Again, diet, exercise, and good sleep are all priorities, and the added supplements just guarantee everything else is covered to help maximize optimal blood flow. And I've listed all these resources below in the description area, in addition to other helpful videos about this topic. Now, if this was helpful, please you know like it and share with others more importantly so they can help benefit. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and please, please don't be like most people who just listen and then they don't do anything else, okay? Take action, all right? Maybe you need to watch this video again to implement some of the tactics. And then let me know how else I can help you achieve your health, fitness, and longevity goals. Post your comments and questions below. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I wish you a very happy and healthy day.